Hello everyone. Oh my goodness. So many of you in here on Christmas break, I assume. Hi everyone. Um, let's see, how far back can I go? We have Deborah, Don, Ronnie, Melissa, Crashes, Mandy, Chris, Kenny, Deborah, Arianne, Katrina, Tammy, Kelly. Hello, 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 hello. Melissa, hello. Kelly, hello. Alex, hello. Let's see. Kenny, did I get you? If not, you get another one. Hello, Kenny. Danny, hello. Hello, everyone. And Angie. Hi, Angie. I am so glad you guys are making that trip. I'm very soft-spoken. Am I too quiet? I can turn it up. Is that better? I can turn it up. Testing, testing. There you go. I could still have my settings messed with from when we did the joint stream quieting me down. Let's see, let's make sure we're turned up here. How am I now? Can everyone hear me okay? Let's see, make sure I'm not missing anyone. Oh, sound was good? Oh, okay, okay. All right, we're good then, we're good. Anyway, how is everyone? How was your Christmas, Evelyn? Thank you. We had some hypes in chat for Evelyn, exclamation point hi. Hello, Emily and chat. Those underscore Emily Paul, call and underscore Emily Paul. Currently searching it. Oh, searching and coloring together is most weird to have a real life buddy color. That's so awesome. Hi, Georgia. If I miss anyone coming in, I apologize. So I spent like an hour going through my books tonight because it's like we're past Christmas, we're ready for, oh, you're swatching. That makes more sense. I don't know, you could have been searching for something. Maybe you lost something. <laughs> um, but I spent like an hour going through, uh, going through my books, trying to figure out what on earth I wanted to start with post Christmas. And I was flipping through and I saw this one because I knew I wanted to use the pastel tints. Uh, Colorfully Optimistic Corey, she was so sweet, sent me this for Christmas. Uh, and I hadn't got a chance to try them out yet. So I have them swatched here. So I wanted to do this one, but here's the problem. Uh, the only extra copy I had of this, um, I had already colored the other side. So what I did is I scanned this in and reprinted it on my Nina cardstock and I initially printed it like so and then I was looking at how dark some of these lines are because this is from Enchanted Forest so this is her second book so her illustrations are a little bit different and I was like you know what we're using pastel pencils let's print it lighter so I actually want to color it on this super light one um, to help kind of maybe so the lines aren't so uh, overbearing uh, Lobster it went so good So the kids woke up and of course we you know We opened up all the presents and everything and uh, they were all done and I was just like because it was there It was their Nana that that gifted them the swing set and uh, And so I was just like well well, guys, you actually have one more present. I said, did you notice that you didn't open one from Nana? And and little Emily was like, well, yeah. I was like, well, you have one from her, but it's outside. And she was just like, it's outside? So I went out first and I took a video for the family and everything and they walked out. They were so, so shocked and surprised. And let me tell you, little Steve, we could not get him off the swing all day. We had to like convince him to come in. And even when he did, it was like 30 minutes and boom, he was back outside. Like he was so tired. At the end of the day, he just crashed. And it's like, even I wake up in the morning, where are the kids? Oh, they're outside. <laughs> Like, they have been enjoying it so, so much. Steve put it all together and everything, but it was hands down, like, the best Christmas gift that they have ever gotten, and it was so good, and they're so happy. Like, it's just that along with the uh, karaoke, karaoke microphone that little Emily got. That's been... That's been entertaining. <laughs> but the swing... The swing was... It, it was good. And the pogo stick that I mentioned, little Emily even figured out how to use it. I think she did like six or seven bounces in a row and we were all very, very impressed. But yes, it was incredibly, uh, incredibly good. Now I will say my throat's a little rough. I just had a little bit of a sore throat. So if I take sips of tea more frequently, that is why. Um, but yeah. So here's a fun fact is I've actually colored this page once before and here is what it looked like 
This was done in 2015. This is when I used absolutely nothing but Prismacolors. Right? It absolutely will, Deborah. Oh man, they're so in love. It's not even funny. Um, but this was Enchanted Forest was my very first uh, Johanna book that I ever got. So this, I got Secret Garden afterwards. So this was one of the first ones, not one of the first, it's probably within the first like 20 that I colored out of there. But I colored a lot in Enchanted Forest. Um, I have this one somewhere. I got actually got it laminated or something. Um, but this was back in 2015 when I first started coloring. Um, it's done, with, like I said, it's done with Prismacolors. I think I did pastels on the sky in the background. I added the water and the clouds and everything like that. Um, but what we're gonna go ahead and do, oh my gosh, Evelyn, yes. Absolutely. Like, I cannot get over, like, how... For those of you who don't know, we lived in an apartment before we moved here, and we did not have a yard. Well, we now live in a house, and they have a yard, and it's fenced. So, like, we, we put the swing directly in front of the window so that, like, while I'm in the kitchen, like, cleaning or, or cooking or whatever else, and, like, my office is above the kitchen. So whether I'm in my office working or I'm in the kitchen, I can have the window open, and the and they can hear me talk to them if they need something they can holler but i can keep an eye on them too so you know it's a fenced yard it's got a locked gate and everything so they can play back there safely without mom hovering too much you know it's just been it's been awesome it's been amazing um but yeah so that this this little frog was 2015. Um, I definitely did some uh, contrasting colors. And so we are going to do a little bit of a different color scheme. I don't know if we'll do a background. If we do, I don't know what we'll do for it, but we're gonna start with the frog and the lily pad. And the pencils that we are going to use are going to be, like I said, the Castle Art uh, Pastel Tints, the 48 of them. So I filled this out today. It'll be interesting because it's like the other one was super bright and vibrant, and this one's gonna be all pastel colors. Like I said, which is why I printed this lighter. Right, Ronnie? Me too. It's going to be like, like very, very, very contrasting pictures. Really using lighter paper be better when using pastel pencils. Wait, really using lighter paper be better when using... Mm, I'm not quite sure what you were trying to say, but I did print it lighter since I'm using the pastel colors. I didn't want the black lines to be too overwhelming. I mean, these big black dark spots, like that would just be really, really overwhelming. So uh, printed it out lighter and we're gonna dive in. No snow. Yeah, it was. It's been in. It's been in the low 80s, high 70s here. So, um, okay. So the only thing I've done with these pencils is just sharpen them and did the swatch sheet. So I was looking at this. I want to do kind of like a yellow green for the lily pad, and then I want to do um, a blue green for the frog. So I think what we'll start with will be Angelica. Here, let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about here. So I'm thinking Angelica, Savannah, hmm, maybe Angelica, Bayberry, and Daylily. I think that will be our first color combinations. Wow, Ev, that's warm for where you're at, isn't it? Isn't it usually, didn't you guys already have snow? Uh, family in Oregon, they were all sending all of the uh, snow pictures that they had going on over there. They got a little, little blustery blow of snow there. All right, so Bayberry, Angelica, and Daylily. Here we go. Hello, Pamela. Happy holidays to you. All right, so let's see. Let's get him positioned here. So like I said, he does look lighter. Um just because I printed him lighter. So there's nothing nothing wrong with the camera. He's just a lighter, a lighter frog. Oh, wow, interesting. Five inches, yep, that's what I heard. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with Angelica. And I'm actually gonna go over the lighter lines that I printed. You'll still see them, I think, in the finished product because these are pastel pencils. So as far as how these feel versus regular castle arts, um, I, that's interesting. Do I have something under here? No? 
they they feel they feel nicer the pencils themselves uh they feel nicer just uh the regular castle art pencils the barrel always felt a little bit thin um but it's interesting the way that they made these ones i think they were definitely meant to remind you of the whole binds just because of the way they painted you know with the full body color which is the sun single silver line like they're definitely trying to to pull off of uh, the whole binds a little bit. But you're only six hours from me, Ev? Oh, I thought you were more north than that. They completely ignored their presence. Well, to be fair, I mean, it's kind of like the swing with little Steve. Like I was joking with Steve. I was just like, did we even need to get him any other presents? <laughs> but he has just been enjoying it so, so much. In fact, uh, at one point yesterday, it was actually too, the, where the sun was at as the sun was setting, it was just straight up too hot out there for him to be sitting out just baking on the swing. And so I actually had to have him come inside until the sun shifted and it was more shaded. And he was just like, but mom, I was like, honey, like I can't have you be getting sunburn out there. It's too hot. Like he is absolutely loving it. Okay, let's see, where else do we want? I'm planning ahead for the darker color here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. And the difference with this page versus the other is you can see on the, on the original paper too, this is more of a yellowish kind of paper versus the bright white. So that's gonna make a difference as well. Okay, yeah, I think I knew that. I think I just imagined, I just imagined you were further north. I didn't realize you were that close. Okay. The nice thing is with the pastels, it's really, these are really soft too. Like I would akin these almost to like Arteza soft. I'm really impressed with them. I think, I don't know if they changed their formula or what, but I think I like it better than the regular Castle Arts. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's what you meant to say. Sorry, I got that. Yes, it does have a better result. Yes, agreed. Yeah, a nice bright white with uh, nothing overwhelming it too much. Agreed. So obviously, if you're coloring a uh, coloring along in your book, um, you know it might it might end up looking just a tad different. So we are still just using Angelica. Hi, Dion. Okay, getting all of our darker color in first. And then what I think we'll do, because we're working with such a small space, is we'll get all of our lightest color in, and then we'll use our mid color to, uh, here, I guess I can turn this back this way. Um, our mid color to kind of bridge the gap between the two. So how was everyone's Christmas? We have like one piece of pumpkin pie left over. <laughs> but it was really good. Steve got me, um, I've had my eye on a vanity for the bedroom um, for a while. I've never really had one before where you could sit there and you have the mirror and you can put like your makeup and stuff there. And we finally have the space for it, but it was always, you know, a little bit on the spendier end. Um, like I said, we, we moved here uh, back in July. So, you know, we still, we're still, you know, making changes based on the space and everything. Uh, but he surprised me with a new vanity for the bedroom. So I was very pleased with that. Okay, let's go ahead. But you got nothing, Ev. Didn't you go to Bob's? All right, Day Lily. I thought I saw uh, your post with Briggs. Day Lily. Oh, nice, Dion. Oh, I love that, Deborah. Yeah, we just had kind of a nice, quiet, you know, we called we called the family and everything and, you know, did did videos with them. And, and I mean, Christmas is definitely different when you have kids. They had a lot of fun and, and we got everything all set up and the kids, you know, came down in the morning. So it was... It was very good. They were very excited. <laughs> nice, Deborah.
Okay, now we're gonna grab Bayberry. Now it's not gonna look super dark. I mean, these are pastel colors, so this is going to be a rather light image, but that doesn't mean that we can't add our contrasting colors. They're not layering quite as smoothly as I'd like. Like it almost seems mildly uneven. I'm not sure. We might try a blender on them and see kind of how, how it changes a little bit. Happy Christmas to you, Mimi. Welcome. We're just talking about Christmas a little bit. But yeah, it was just kind of a nice chill day and I made Christmas dinner and like I said, little Steve and little Emily were just basically outside all day playing on the swing. So yeah, it was a good good day had by all. We also got them some of those um, bouncy balls, like they look like extra ball, exercise balls, but they have handles. And so they were bouncing all around the house. We definitely went for like activity toys this year. Right, Kelly, I love pastel. All right, let's go ahead and grab Angelica again. I'm needing to like switch my mind a little bit here because although I do like a lot of light colors and stuff, like I'm expecting this to be darker, but I have to remember that like this Angelica, this is the darkest color. But let's take a look at what we have in terms of contrasting colors we could use. Hi, Shannon. Dogs have been extra tonight. <laughs> uh, tickle pink. Tickle pink I think could be good. So that is, let's see. Okay, Tickle Pink. These names are cracking me up too. You know what I actually started, uh, I wanna say re-watching, but it's more that I'm picking up where I left off at. Um, ages ago, I used to watch NCIS all the time. And then I just sort of tapered off probably around season six and I never really picked it up again. Well, now I'm realizing they're all the way up to like season 13, 14, um, umpteen. I don't even know what they're up to now. I don't remember. But I was just like, well, hot dang, man. I liked NCIS. I should probably catch up with what's what's going on. I mean, I'm well aware that some characters, you know, are going to leave down the line, but I never, uh, I never finished watching it. So I've been going through that. You got those for Christmas? Oh, and Brian got your Ateza diamond painted. Oh, how do you like it? Angelica, how do you like it? Honestly, we just kind of took it easy. I didn't even do much coloring or crafting or anything. I think I was just kind of like Christmas came and I just kind of like, <sighs> and just kind of relaxed a little bit. I actually, to be perfectly honest, I played some video games with my sister. So, you know, family bonding. You can't see them in real life, so you gotta do you gotta do the online bonding. Using Bayberry right now. Oof, this is gonna be like a mental adjustment here. Like I wanna make this darker. Wait. Really, Deborah? No way. <laughs> Shannon, which one did he get you? Debra, seriously? It's possible. It's possible, Loretta. I don't know, the Nina tends to work well with everything, so it's throwing me a little bit. Okay, Debra, <laughs> I was just like, I just, it's, it's gonna, he's, he's not really gonna be able to intimidate. It's, I don't know, it's just. <laughs> oh, the sunflower one. Okay, yeah, that's the one I have. They did look good, right, Debra? You're messing with me. All right, let's go ahead and grab now. Let's do Jade, Periwinkle, and Blue Poppy. Jade, Periwinkle, and Blue Poppy. Okay. Um, the stuff on the inside yet, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna color it yet but we're gonna color these main areas first. And like I said, my last one was, you know, bright blue and orange. So that was very different. Mm 
Yeah, Loretta, have you used these on any kind of paper? Oh, that's awesome, Shannon. That's so sweet. Oh, Steve also got me um, some Doctor Who fuzzy socks. Uh, this nail polish. So there's two different ones. Little kind of shimmery, hol not holographic, it's just kind of shimmery. But um, I didn't actually like, the, the colors go really well together. I didn't plan that, but I was just like, well, these go perfect. And then my mother-in-law got me another kind of glittery one of almost the same kind of shade. Um, but, but yeah, so new nail polish is always good. Aww. Did you get Bob a present? Yeah, for sure. Well, the swing, the swing was definitely the uh, the highlight of Christmas this year, for sure. They love it so much. And honestly, it's just kind of nice, like, because before, you know, we had the backyard and they have a little, one of those little small trampolines, you know, like kind of those exercise ones that you put in your living room that you run on. Um, but they take that out there and they jump all over that and everything. But this was just a big addition to, uh, to the yard for sure. It's just, it's perfect. It's got one of those like round disc uh, swings on it. Actually, let me see if I can pull up the... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Miss Pac-Man tabletop game, nice. Let me see if I can, there's, I took a picture of it, but I gotta make sure that it's, let's see if I can do this without showing too much. Eh, no, I can't, but it is a blue disc uh, swing and, and uh, yeah, they love it. Let's see, what, uh, what did Ronnie ask? Wait. Nina Bright White, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this one is the Nina Classic Crest. Okay, well, I have more at the bottom here in a bit. Let's go ahead and add, let's see. Every kid needs a swing, right? Oh, they're just loving it so much. And it's so, it's so fun to just see them, you know, doing the kinds of things I did as a kid. When I was um, younger, so uh, my dad worked in the uh, commercial fishing industry. And so he always had, you know, and this was, this was 80s or, you know, whatever it was. Uh, and he had all kinds of rigging from his fishing boats. And I mean, dad's always been a builder. And so in our yard, uh, he actually built us a play structure. So it's made out of, you know, two by fours and, or they might've been four by fours. They were square, I remember. And he like, he dug the holes in the yard and like poured cement so it was all secure. And one of the, <laughs> one of the, one of the things was a, um, I don't know if you're, if you're, if any of you are familiar with uh, sea urchin diving, but the way that it works is there's a large ring and then it's got a yellow net and then they use these claws to kind of scoop the sea urchins into. Well, dad rigged that up so we could climb into it and spin around. It had a hammock, it had a rope to climb. He made a couple of swings for it. It. like he he full-on crafted this whole play structure for us and I just have a lot of fond memories of you know playing out there camping out in the hammock and like all that kind of stuff so it's just so cool to see my kids experiencing that same kind of stuff okay so now we're gonna use Jade I think the next thing that we want to invest in for the yard is one of those like 10 by 10 size awnings um, that like a lot of times they'll use at like, 
not even wedding venues, but you know, like if it's just something out or if you go to like a farmer's market and they've got those over them, I want to get one of those. That way the kids can still play on the swing. Um, uh, during summertime because like that's the one thing that is like if you go to a park here like if that park doesn't have an awning or a cover like it's out of the question for summertime because it just gets so hot here so I think that will be you know obviously we'll have to take it down and stuff if there's a windstorm or a rainstorm because we don't want it to blow away but if we've checked the weather and everything's all good to go I think that would be a really good investment for the yard so that they can uh, play without getting too hot the 80 pound, yeah, this one's the 110 pound. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, and this might be it, this might be it because this, this paper definitely doesn't have much tooth. A sip of tea here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use our periwinkle again. I'm just slowly kind of building up these layers here. You use one for craft shows, yeah. I think it's gonna be a must, honestly, because I don't want them to have to just be like, oh, it's summertime, guess you don't get to play on the swing, like, at all. As long as it's covered and the sun's not beating down directly, then then it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty nice. And so we measured it and like height, width, length of the swing itself is probably, generously, it's probably six by six by six. So a 10 by 10 would be perfect for it. All right, blue poppy. So I think that will be the next uh, investment for the yard for sure. Cause even still, it doesn't have to stay over the swing. We could move it and they could, you know, still be able to have a picnic outside or jump on the little trampoline or whatever else. The point is that will, there will be some coverage so that they don't get too hot. But we got them uh, Ev, so the pickle present for the uh, pickle ornament. They loved being able to find the pickle ornament. And the present that we did for the pickle ornament was a, so little Steve and little Emily, they really like Minecraft. Who am I kidding? The whole family likes Minecraft. I like Minecraft. Um, but we got them this game called Builders and Biomes. And it's interesting because the box says that it's like ages 10 and up. And, uh, but we, it's like one of those full on, like something you would play with like adult friends kind of thing, because it's mildly complicated. But uh, Steve sat down with the kids and explained it. We played it through a few times and they got it. Like they're having fun. So they did really, they did really good with it. So we played, we played that yesterday. Uh, hang on, oh, there it is. And she love it when something's stuck in the drawer. You can't pull it out. There we go. Hi, Sassy Banjo, welcome. There we go. Okay, let's do, hmm. Let's grab Larkspur. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. How often do you do craft shows, Shannon? Okay, so I just wanted to darken that up a little bit. Like I know they're supposed to be pastel colors, but I'm having my having a hard time wrapping my head around it here. I need to have some sort of darker color on here. But I'm liking these colors together so far. I think these will be really pretty. I debated about doing like an obscure color for the frog, but I mean, you can see here, I've already I've already done an obscure color. So now we're going exact opposite. <laughs> We're going super, super pastel, super light. I mean, we're using pastel pencils, so that will do it. Oh, that's right. I was gonna try a blender on them too to see how they reacted with that. We'll probably grab our Karen Dash blender here and kind of see how it works with it. There we go. Okay. Oh, that'll be fun. Do you do like your cards and stuff? 
Aw, uh, thanks, Kelly. Or do you do uh, other things? Because, I mean, I know you do the cards videos, and then obviously, you know, we have the coloring, but are there any other uh, crafty things that you'll do at shows? I briefly thought about going into jewelry making, but my hands are too dang shaky. <laughs> okay, periwinkle. I'll tell you though, it was the sweetest thing the other day. So every now and then, especially if like maybe I haven't eaten yet or like, uh, like low blood sugar or whatever else, or if I've recently had a headache, my hands get really shaky. Like we already know I have shaky hands, but it's like to the point where if I try to paint a nail, like my hand kind of like spasms and it sort of just goes all over the place. Like no matter how hard I try to hold my hand still, sometimes I just can't. And I was playing around and wanted to do one of the new nail polishes. Um, and I was just, I was fudging it up so bad. And so I called Steven and I said, honey, I've got it partially on. Like I can't let it dry clumpy like this. And you know what he did? He helped me paint the rest of my nail. I thought it was so sweet. I'm like, aw. <laughs> yes, I'm not in my head. <laughs> Nodding and talking to Emily during the stream like she can hear me. I might be able to. Jewelry, vinyl items, paper crafty stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's right, you have a Cricut machine, don't you? Blue Poppy. I would make so many t-shirts if I had one of those. I hear though that the vinyl stuff for the Cricut machines can get kind of spendy. Like I have a friend who uh, who has a Cricut machine, so whenever Joann's has a sale on the, the vinyls for it, I call her and I'm like, hey, Joann's is on sale. She's like, woo. <laughs> now I haven't done inside these because I'm not sure yet if I want to do it that same color, but let's grab a blender and see how it handles it, shall we? One of our little sharpeners. <laughs> Steve is the best. I was like, aw. Right, Deborah? Yeah, he's super sweet. You paint my nail for me. Oh, nice, Melissa. What are you making on him? <laughs> Steve, yep, I'm the best. Oh, okay, cool. I found myself talking to all the streamers and I remember I have to type my words. <laughs> oh wait, what did Kenny say? Oh, you did craft shows way back in the 80s? What, yeah, what did you sell? Cricket vinyl sucks, all right, good to know. Essential tremor. I've had and couldn't do anything with details until I got on medicine. Well, see, and hi, Jan. It's not all the time. Like, I just find it's on certain days and it tends to be post migraine or post headache. Um, or like, like I said, or I've got low blood sugar, but it's like, I'll be doing this. Like sometimes obviously if I rest like my hand and it hits like a certain like pressure point on my arm, but like I'll be painting and then my hand will go like it's literally like all over the place and it won't do it normally. Like I can stop and go to pick something up and I can, you know, kind of hold it still basically, but it's only like when I turn my hands at certain angles and then I try to do it and it's not all the time. It's not all the time. It's just, it comes and goes and I'm just like, well, thanks hands. <laughs> I mean, my, uh, one of my sisters uh, has MS, and so that's always in the back of my mind. But I mean, like I said, it's not all the time, and it's just, you know, it is what it is. Hi, Ambient. Ceramics, oh, that's cool. Made yourself a Christmas shirt, my husband's shirt from his game, oh, that's cool. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, they've been in full force lately, haven't they? Okay, okay, it actually worked well with it. It kind of smoothed out some of that tooth a little bit. Like I know it looks blurry, but it's just because I printed it so light. So decorative collars to go over plain white or black tops and various other, oh, I like that. Oh, awesome, Ambient. Oh, and Catherine, 
Catherine! Hi, Catherine! Almost missed you there. All right, so we're just smoothing out some of that tooth. This is so different to have it so light. I mean, I mean, we know me. I do a lot of like pastel kind of stuff, but it's like I don't know if any of you, uh, some of you may may have seen. I know some of you were watching it. Some of you might have missed it. Um, but I was doing those ornaments for the uh, advent calendar. I'm doing this. I was doing this one here. And this was like a uh, little wood one. The back was uh, red watercolor and then acrylic pen. And I was doing so good. And then you see this, you know how much that bothered me, but I had already filmed so much of it. And I'm just like, it's got character. I'm gonna roll with it. But it's just like the lines, they're so good. It burnt my hand, like went stupid. And I was like, well, I gotta make the next one all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Went back to straight lines, and so every time I rewatched that particular one, I was like, ah, oh, stupid hands. <laughs> oh, dang. Well, see, you started a trend, Kenny. Exactly. It's a knot in the wood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I was just like, come on. <laughs> Exactly, it's special, it has character. Although in hindsight, I'm wondering if it would look cool if I put, um, oh, I thought I had it out. Uh, some of that, um, oh, Tanya, I don't know if you're watching, what's that called, the, uh, the dragon glaze? Like a little bit of sparkle on the dragon glaze? I don't know, I was having fun making the ornaments. There we go, let's see. The lightness is throwing me off. I know, that's exactly what it is. Well, here, look, you'll know your screen is fine when this is next to it. It's just these are super light. I mean, I've printed it like so, see, look, it's so much lighter. So your screen is fine. Everything's just incredibly light. <laughs> Right? Oh my gosh. I tell you, like, I slept so hard. Like, I, I'm generally kind of a, a bit of a night owl, and so a lot of times I'll go to sleep, like, around midnight or after. Um, all right, we're gonna use um, Angelica again. But Christmas night, after just the entire day of, you know, we were, we were up early, we were up late, getting the swing put together and everything, and then, um, uh, Christmas night, after after all the hullabaloo, I went to bed at like 11 and I crashed. I crashed so hard. Chat, I slept for like 11 hours. I was so tired after all of that. Hi, Claire. Aw, thanks, Ev. It's funny, whenever, when I was filming all of those, uh, little Emily would would come in and she's just like, are there any new ones on the tree? Like <laughs> She was keeping track of whenever I put new ones on the tree. <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun. And the, the advent calendar came with quite a few, quite a few things in it, like I was impressed. And it was kind of cool. I, I realized afterwards, because I didn't look closely enough with it. In fact, when you opened up each of the days, there was actually a little prompt behind the flap to give you an idea of what you should make using that particular item. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, I was so zonked. Like you, you ever do that where you sleep so hard and so long that when you wake up, like you're just confused about where you are. Like you're not entirely sure what happened and you wake up and you're like, What's going on? What time is it? What planet am I on? That's exactly what it was. I was so tired. Like, and Steve let me sleep in and everything and I just crashed so hard. <laughs> oh my word. Fell asleep at around 6.30 Christmas day. I was supposed to go to a friend's house but fell asleep. Didn't wake up until after eight and called him apologize. <laughs> I've done that. I've totally done that. Love you. I kind of forgot that you moved your desk. Was it confusing for you? Yeah, like, what? What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get some sleep. Did she brush your teeth already? Yes. Okay. Night. Steve is the best. He really is. 
Yeah, it was great. And then like the roundup, like afterwards to kind of show everything together, it was, it, yeah, it was really good. And now I, cause the thing of it is, is I kept everything separate in a box until I was done. And so it was kind of nice to be able to kind of put everything away, like put the super glitter gel pens, the rest of the glitter gel pens. So yeah, it was good. But it was weird, like not streaming on Friday, not posting the Let's Talk, like, I don't know, but it was just, it was kind of a nice, you know, nice little break with the fam and everything. So it was good. Kids don't go back until like the sixth, I think. Christmas tree is still up. I'm thinking that if I have the energy tomorrow, we'll probably start taking down Christmas decorations tomorrow. Truth be told, I was just like, day after Christmas, boom, let's get it down. Funny thing is, is I like decorating early, but like after Christmas is over, I'm just like, okay, Christmas decorations can come down now. But the kids wanted to keep them up and I was just like, eh, okay. And I thought about doing it today, but I was like, all right, tomorrow. As much as I like to do it early, I, I post Christmas. I'm like, all right, holiday's over, time to be done. <laughs> right, Melissa? Uh, actually, Claire, these are the Castle Art Pastel Tints. They look very similar, very similar. But yeah, they're the Castle Art Pastel Tints. But I think a lot of these pastel tints, like they are just like pastel sets. Cause uh, I was on Corey's stream and they came out, She uh, somebody mentioned that they came out with a uh, pastel set for the Brutes. Got to enjoy your kids playing, that's the best part of life. Exactly, exactly. Steve and I both said like Christmas, Christmas is so much, I'm using Daylily now, so much more fun with kids. Like it's just, it's great. Till New Year, sometimes the end of January. <laughs> end of January, then you're creeping up on Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Now see, I really enjoy, uh, from December to, uh, because for me, uh, all the families, like all their birthdays are in November, like all of them. So I'm usually pretty exhausted by the time Christmas is done, you know, and I'm just like, okay. Cause then for the next few months, it's other fun like gift giving holidays because then we've got, um, we've got Valentine's day in February, then we've got our wedding anniversary and then we've got my birthday. So, you know, <laughs> yes, they're very similar. Mary said their tree down Christmas night. It was up when I left at 8 a.m. When I came home, 5 p.m. It was gone. Oh my gosh, you gotta leave it at least up for Christmas. Maybe they had like people come over or something. And then, you know, once they were gone, they're like, well, see you later. So yeah, beginning of the year is always a uh, super fun time. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use Bayberry. Okay, so we're just using Bayberry here and I think we'll use a little bit of this, what was it? It was Tickle Pink. We're gonna use a little bit of Tickle Pink. There we go. Okay. We'll use a little bit of that here. Yeah, my instinct is that I want these colors to be so much brighter, but I have to remember. That's why I almost chose a page that had only flowers on it, but I was just like, oh. <laughs> let's get out of our comfort zone just a little bit. It'll be good for me. When my neighborhood isn't putting Christmas lights on, bummer, I'm used to lights. Uh, we ended up driving around and uh, letting the kids see Christmas lights that way. Speaking of lights, this was another thing uh, my mother-in-law got for me. I've actually had on my personal wish list for ages. I need to get an extension cord for it. I'm gonna put it up above my desk, but little TARDIS twinkle lights. Look at these, like here, let me plug them in. And you can actually put um, one of the little blinky light bulbs in it so that they do twinkle. Like I said, I just need to get an extension cord so I can hang it above my computer. Oh, got my 
headphones caught up, but look, they're little, little TARDIS twinkle lights. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I'm gonna hang above my computer. <laughs> I was just like, oh, yay. I love me some twinkle lights. Yeah, Doctor Who TARDIS lights. Okay, I think we need to start figuring out what we want to do for his spots so we can start getting that. Ooh, no, actually, let's do his face. Let's do his face. <laughs> Doctor Who TARDIS twinkle lights. Doctor Who TARDIS twinkle. Yep, yep, okay, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I was joking with Steve because, um, you know, we were driving around using heavy pressure or light or trying to layer up the colors. Uh, all of the above. So I kind of went lightly initially, and then I'm layering up the colors, but as I get to the last layer, I press a little bit harder. Hang on, I'm gonna sharpen real quick. Here we go. Okay, so let's do his face now. Worked on Christmas night, it seemed like they were, okay, what happened <laughs> to New Year's? <laughs> Okay, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm not blocking it too much here. Yeah, this is so light in comparison to what I did before, but it's cool, it's just a different kind. Right, Ronnie? I'm so excited about him. We've just been kind of hanging out a little bit and just, yeah. Nothing too exciting, just been enjoying the time. Different breed of frog, exactly, exactly. All right, let's grab the day lily. I was trying to think, is NCIS still going? Are there still new episodes coming out or did the series finish? I mean, I know they're like into the teens for how many seasons they've been going, but um, I'm curious how many more there are. For sure, Melissa. Have you ever seen I'm gonna put things up early so I'll be ready to take things down by New Year's cold here 44 degrees I know that's nothing to those of you who have snow but San Francisco Bay Area that's cold that is cold for sure there we've been in like the 80s all right Bayberry but um, from what I hear according to farmers almanac uh, it should be getting cold here um, around January so we'll see We'll see. I definitely don't want snow apocalypse again. Like if we could avoid that, that would be great. Um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't say no if there was like a day of snow. Thought they were in 16 or so seasons. That sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> I was telling Steve though, it's like, Okay, there's how many seasons of all this? And it's like, it's one thing if you watch, you know, something something like Bones or whatever other cop show, like it's, it's you know, precincts and like whole districts. But I was just like, this entire show, it isn't even just about, you know, it's like, well, I guess it's Navy and Marines, but it's like, it's not like it involves the army. I'm like, if this show has taught me anything, it's just that I don't want to join the Navy or the Marines because apparently a good majority of them die under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> oh, you need, you need opinions in Discord, okay? Oh, that looks good, Ev. And that looks real good, I like it. 48 degrees Celsius. Oh, season 19 is starting in 2021. Gotcha. Oh, wait. 
Oh, it started in 2021. Okay. I'm gonna have to call my dad today. The Weather Channel named the current winter storm Elmer. It's his name. <laughs> That's awesome. 48 degrees Celsius. This is the hottest Christmas on record in Perth, Western Australia. It's nearly 11 a.m. It's 46. Oh, that is hot. Hmm. Yeah, I don't envy you on that one. All right. So tickle pink. I will say though, like the weather on Christmas was perfect. It was like mid seventies, a light breeze. There's a reason uh, little Steve was able to stay outside on his swing all day long. <laughs> Cause if we had had snow, they definitely wouldn't have been able to play with it as much. Yeah, that looks really good. Angelica. It's 65 here now. Oh, that's so brisk, Shannon. Get a sweater. 65. My goodness. <laughs> I had a light sweater on when we were out uh, late Christmas Eve uh, building the building the swing, but just a light sweater. Okay, and then Bayberry. There we go. Senior Frog. Well, now he needs a name though. Gerald, you can name him Gerald. <laughs> right, I'm freezing, right? How to set up the pee punt, pee, pee punt. <laughs> pump house. What is wrong with me? I can't read, words are hard. Oh, and hi tech gal. We had to set up the set up heat in the pump house for my parents because everything froze. Oh no. Yeah. Well, Steve was in shorts and a t-shirt. That's because he just, he never gets, he never gets cold. I'm always cold. Like I, I have fuzzy socks on right now. I'm totally relating. I mean, I'm in the Valley. I feel like such a way brushing my dog over outside. Hi, Andrea. Welcome. I figure NCIS is trying to beat the 20 season gun smoke and record, gun smoke record at this point. It could be 45 here. It's currently 46. 46 would be code. <laughs> I definitely climatized to uh, to Texas a bit for sure. Let me start with kind of doing a darker outline. <laughs> Dark, although darker is relative. <laughs> we're we're using pastel colors here. Kind of make it a little bit darker here. Get a little bit of frog shaped nose. Oh, thank you. Good night, Katrina. On the front porch with no jacket? Oh my gosh. No, man, I am cold all the time. Like, it's so funny, the cats always sleep on our bed and I can tell such a difference. Like, like we've got like the comforter and the sheet and then I've got like this big furry blanket over the top. Meanwhile, Steve's over there like on his side, you know, with like no blankets and I'm like, oh, it's so cold. But the cats always sleep on my side because I have the fuzzy blanket. So like I'll have Paul and Annie down where I can tuck my feet underneath of them because they don't care, they don't move. So they're my, they're my foot warmers uh, at night. Did you get the Smithsonian Encyclopedia book? I did not. I seem to remember we were talking about that. I don't think I did, no. I've gotten the booster shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, possibly, possibly. No, I didn't get it. I'll have to look it up. Um, but then our older cat too, she always sleeps like up, up by my torso, like on whichever side that I'm laying on. So it's like, it's painfully obvious when the cats aren't there. Cause I'm like extra cold and I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, you did. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Right, Amy, yeah, it's so cold. Used to love NCIS, her favorite character is Abby when I got a stuffed hippo. hippo. <laughs> That's hilarious. 11 with a wind chill of negative 10. Oh, I'm right there with you, Ambien. Oh, geez. Definitely tell it's cold when three dogs and a cat are snuggled tight, right? Oh my gosh. 
that was the thing when we had snow apocalypse and we had no heat like the cats were all bundled up like they were tiny little cat meatloafs <laughs> but we know now that part of it is that the apartment just did not have very good uh insulation like we'd set the air conditioner and like it still could not keep it cool but like here we set it at a temperature and it stays at that temperature and i'm just like oh <laughs> it's amazing the difference it makes needless to say moving to the house has seriously improved quality of life for all of us not that apartments are bad it was just for us our family grew out of it and we needed to it was time for us to move on oh that's awesome tag Okay, um, let's add a little bit more here. We're still just using Angelica. Okay, <laughs> it looks all funky right now. <laughs> all right, let's use Bayberry. Apartments are not meant for family life, like two adults and a kid or more. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, where's Renee? Renee, there you are. Hello. Yes, very much. <laughs> it's raining now. Oh, well, hopefully that doesn't turn icy. Yeah, we had two adults, two kids, three cats. <laughs> We're like, yep. Yep, we gotta go. I saw this video pop up on YouTube for me the other day and it's probably just because <laughs> YouTube can hear me talking about an apartment. Um, but it was a family of six with a baby on the way who lived in a 900 foot square house. And I was just like, oof. Now granted they had property, so I'm sure that helped too. But I was just like, oof, 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 oof. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, that is true. Yeah, nope, nope, and nope, not enough space. Absolutely not. I mean, we made it work, and, and it was a good apartment. Like, the kids learned to walk there, you know? But, yeah, now the kids each have their own room, and we're able to have an office, and it's just it's very, very good. And just seeing the kids outside playing yesterday, like, it was just, it's good for the soul. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's coming along. He's getting a little character. Not quite the depth I would like him to have, but we're, we're going at it still. Your three-bedroom house and you're running in a room. <laughs> oh, you saw that one too? I watched I was like, uh, no. Uh, I am impressed with her, with her storage capabilities. Definitely. Okay, so now Tickle Pink. Let's get some variation here, shall we? Gonna do the cheeks here. Some of her ideas I definitely could have utilized at the apartment for sure. Goes on to clean the house and get your hair cut. Very nice. I need to get a haircut. I do. Um, let's see. put this much and eh, we'll do some green over the top but if he ends up looking like he's got more kind of pinky tipped areas we may need to add a little bit more pink to his other areas but we haven't added our second layer of green yet 
here I am waiting to find RV fifth wheel medium-ish tiny house to rent my own. Well, see, no, but I like that idea. And if it's just for you, then a tiny house is perfect. Oh, I love it, Renee. Since October 2019, it's down below my, oh my gosh. That's awesome though. I desperately need a haircut. We all need haircuts. I say we all just find a hairstylist somewhere and just, you know, <laughs> convene on it. Uh, okay, let's see. Angelica. I'm pressing, I'm pressing harder now, which I think I'm definitely gonna go back and add a bit more green here because I can't have his face be all darker than, than the rest of his body. But I'm not, I don't wanna snap the lead, so I'm not pressing too hard, but I am pressing harder than usual. Oh, forgot we didn't add in here. Using the tickle pink a little bit. There we go. Real hard cut in over two years. You know, part is good size for me. I mean, I wish I had an art studio, but I've made half the living room my art studio. Yeah, see, that's exactly it. Yeah, because before my office slash studio was like a corner in the master bedroom, which is why it wasn't as echoey as this room is now, but you know, it is what it is. I've, there's plenty of stuff in here and I've put stuff on the walls. I think it's just, meh. I did briefly think, you know, like in hospital rooms when they have, um, like those curtains, but it's like an L-shaped curtain. I was thinking, I'm like, I should install one of those on the roof and then put some like really thick curtains and then just like, just pull the curtains and make it a studio when I stream. Like that could work. Just temporary curtain walls, that ought to hold in the sound, right? And we're bouncing it off the walls. <laughs> I love it, Andrea. All right, so Bayberry. I have more space until I converted my guest bedroom into a work office. Well, see, there you go. You've got, you've got one room for your bedroom, one room for your art room, and one room for your office. I love it. Hi, Julie, welcome. Yeah, it was so weird not chatting with you all for a few days. I was just like, what is, what is happening right now? But Steve and I are both kind of, as, as this week has gone on, we're going back into work mode a little bit. I've got some research to do for my other job tomorrow. Okay. No, that's fair, Loretta. Okay, Daylily. We'll have to do something with these uh, circles here. Okay, look, we were able to get that a pretty, it's, it's you know, darkish, darkish color. Gosh, it looks like there's no contrast on the screen, but it's just the paper, it's <laughs> just the paper. Okay, let's go ahead and darken up this one a bit. We're gonna, we're gonna even all this skin out a little bit now. And we've already used the blender on top of these other green areas, so we're gonna see how well this works. Using Angelica. This is definitely like the ugly stage for the frog. I'm so sorry, Mr. Frog. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gerald. We'll get you there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we haven't bought yet, but that's because um, Steve is still working on his PhD. And when he's done with it, which will hopefully be this spring, 
um, there's a very good chance that we could end up moving again based on where he ends up getting hired or where he ends up finding a job. So for us, especially with the way the market is right now, it's just, it doesn't make sense for us to buy at the moment. Okay, I like that. It's darkening up a little bit. Eventually though, we'd like to. It'd be nice to have a little bit more freedom. Hi, Isalina. We are using the Castle Art Pastel Tints. But that is one nice thing about renting versus buying, that in the event that something does go wrong, uh, you know, the company that we rent from, you know, like if water, hot water heater were to go out or whatever else, you know, and that's nice. There's a lot of there's a lot of families that live nearby us. So I think everybody's about the same. Yeah, it is. So look for a job in St. Louis. <laughs> I'll let Steve know. <laughs> oh, they absolutely have ambient. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna use Larkspur again. I wanna darken up his tummy to see if we can get it to match. See, we're, we're getting a little value on him. I like this. Yeah, I don't know where we'll end up at. Um, my sisters uh, live in a, a similar location and they would love it if we ended up up near them. And of course, you know, any of our family would want us to move near them, but it's all just gonna depend on where the jobs are at. So who's to say? Did you try it? Huh? How is it? It's good. Yeah? Is it more, more Coke than rum? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Coke and rum, not a rum. There you go. Uh, Steve got a, he did, what was it? It's not a white elephant. What was it? Just a gift exchange or what was it you guys did? Kind of white elephant, like it was a mug exchange. A mug exchange. Okay, we're using Jade now. Uh, and the mug that he ended up with, ended up with a tiny little thing of rum. So he thought he'd try a rum and Coke. <laughs> it's more Coke than rum. <laughs> Zelina says, hi, Super Steve. Raised in a house with no indoor plumbing back in the boonies. I never had a place with indoor plumbing until I moved out on my own. Oh no. Uh, Steve does archeology. span We've had many a Steve, uh, cause you know, he, he loves dinosaurs so much. <laughs> he gave me a look. Archeology, span not paleontology, but still. Because we know how much he loves dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Periwinkle. I mean, you guys have seen, I've probably gone over this like multiple times at this point. <clears throat> but I am pressing harder than I normally would. But I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with where we're at for the colors with this. Oh, nice, Alex. Did everyone have a good Christmas? We did, Julie, we did. Does he want a job as a professor? Um, I think that's what you're shooting for, right? Or will it just kind of depend? Yeah, I think it'll just kind of depend. Kind of what's out there when he's done, I suppose, because the job market changes so frequently. So, I mean, if he were to find a professorship that, you know, was on the path to like making tenure or something and they paid really well, then possibly. The thing of it is, is he has a solid job right now um, that pays well. So wherever we go, it would need to be something that is uh, better than what he's doing now. So there is no rush to leave. Um, just kind of, I don't know. We'll just kind of see how things play out more than anything else. Really? Deborah says there's a lot of interesting archaeological areas in Michigan. Yeah, some articles about some of the things up there. Oh, nice. Um, okay. For his little 
I think we'll use some... That bothers me. It's not Viridian. It's just Viridi. We're going to use Viridi. <laughs> and green flower. Yeah. But only if you like the snow. Mm, I like a little bit of snow. Heard of hot chocolate bombs. I feel like I have. I feel like I have. Describe it to me. Yeah, I have one. You've had a hot chocolate bomb? No, I have one and I'm like, can't you get it? Oh, you do? What's a hot chocolate bomb? It's like a, a chocolate ball. Okay. And then you put it in. Okay. It's not like a bath bomb, basically. Well, is, does it like bubble or something? I don't know. I, 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 I haven't done one. I'm saying I have one downstairs. Do we need to do a chocolate, hot chocolate bomb on stream? No. <laughs> Oh, nice, Julie. Uh, Evelyn wants us to uh, move where she's at. She says there's multiple universities here, an historic site that's always looking for archaeologists. Oh, I don't want to work for a site. Mm, he does not want to work for a site. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use Viridi. Can I help you? But that is, that is the nice thing, you know, since... Since we are in a good position right now, he doesn't have to just take the first job that comes his way. He's, we have the breathing room for him to be picky and find the one that he wants, you know? Oh, nice, Shannon. But for now, we're happy where we're at. We're gonna be here for a few years at least, and the kids are just enjoying everything. Oh, I suppose I could zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that might be that might be helpful. Oh, nice, Julie. Yeah, we're all gonna get ours here within the next week, but we're trying to plan ahead and stagger um, because I've heard it kind of knock you off your feet for a day or so still, um, or at least it's what it did with my uh, with my sister. So. Um, we're trying to, trying to plan ahead a little bit. We did get our flu shots though. Hot chocolate and mini marshmallows and a stroop waffle warmed up on top of the cup. Oh, that sounds really good. <coughs> oh, that's cool, Ev. Caramel milk, chocolate, and s'mores are my faves. I know they've been questioning the origins of C Cooper Mines on Isle Royal. Is it Royale or Royal? And there is some speculation that it could have been mined by the ancient Monoans? Monoans? Moana. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I have that stuck in my head though, because what was that? Where's Iowa right now? Uh, I'm not sure. It could have been where, hang on. Oh, in Michigan, I think. Okay, so we're just using Viridi. Um, we'll probably add some something under his chin for kind of like a little bit of a drop shadow here. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to worry too much about darkening the top of these. But I do want to give them not just flat color. What is everybody's plans for New Year's? Anything exciting? Oh, nice, Ronnie. Fingers crossed for that, that'd be nice. Oh my gosh, Ev, the cost of living is so high in Hawaii. We have a friend who lives there and like, the cost for a gallon of milk, like it's just, it's so expensive there. It's so expensive. Honestly, if I could choose anywhere, if I could choose anywhere, I actually like Montana. I really like Montana. I think it's beautiful. I like the high elevation, but yet yeah, we're still within driving distance of family. Like we could make it there in a day, but you know, not so close that they could drop by unannounced. 
Thought about pulling out the wheelchair. My knees are so bad. Oh no. Let's have to play cards and keep each other awake till midnight. Oh, I love that. Nice, Loretta. Yeah, my sister um, ended up getting getting it right before Chris or right around Thanksgiving. Anyway, she's fine now, but yeah. Okay. I mean, most everyone here know that I am pro-vaccine, but I, I won't dwell on it because I know that there are those who have differing um, opinions, but um Yes, we, we are we are pro here. Um, okay, green flower. I'm actually just gonna fill this in all the way here. But yeah, so we'll just take it easy and I've got some work stuff. I have a, a little bit of an illustrating gig I gotta finish up this week and I've got research to do. So work's definitely gonna keep us busy till Christmas break is over. Well, that's nice and bright, isn't it? Um, let's see. I don't know that I want to use Tickle Pink. Let's try Hydrangea. Ten is beautiful, but snow. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is the downside. All right, let's try Hydrangea. So I don't know. I'll be curious to see. It'll be a fun adventure wherever we end up at. Something new. Okay, and then I want to grab, I don't want it super, uh, super blue. So we're going to put, um, oh, interesting, Deborah. Um, okay, so Angelica. Here we go. Uh, let's brush away some of that. That's better. And we're gonna use Angelica kind of on the outside of this a little bit. Yeah, I'm, it's interesting. I don't know how well these pencils work on the Nina paper. Like I'm having to work pretty hard to get the levels of color that I want on here. Oh, who here has, or that was watching it, finished watching the Wheel of Time series on Amazon now that it's finished? I did. Wait, did you actually? No. Oh my God. <laughs> I was gonna be surprised. I was like, wait, what? Did you watch that without telling me? Okay, Angelica now. I was gonna be kind of surprised and impressed at the same time. Here we go. I don't know how I feel about it. On the Dover paper, gotcha. I read the books and so I think that's why I'm just struggling. I shouldn't have read the books. I probably would have enjoyed it better if I'd read the books. So I think I wanted them too much to be like the, like too, too much like, I cannot talk today. I wanted it to be more like the books than it was. Okay, so now we're gonna use cowslip. That seems like a weird name. What's it called? Cowslip. And it's kind of a greenish color. <laughs> Sarah Wheels, I'm up to episode five and done with book one. This year's, it's absolutely different. I was reading a review about it and they're just like, all right, we're gonna start this off that if you wanted this to be a page for page identical for the book, uh, stop right now. And I was just like, yep, that's what I figured. Yeah, I, I wanted it to be like the series, absolutely. And I think that's that's where that's where I went wrong. I think my hopes were too high for it. All right, we're gonna use Savannah. It did, because that's not what happened in the book at all. And I wanted to see the tree guy. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see tree beard. You didn't even it's not tree beard, that's Lord of the Rings. It's just so different. It's so different. It's kind of like with Outlander because they've started to go off script to the book too. 
because originally Murtaugh in the book, like he he left the storyline very early on, but they kept him in because he was so popular. Like his reception with the audience was so good. I uh, see. I've never read Game of Thrones. Thank you, Shannon. I've never read Game of Thrones, but I did hear that it was different. I had the world today's team for the Great American Read. I couldn't get into it. Now it's grown on me. Plan to read the whole series. Yeah. So I had like, which one was it? Was it Eye of the World? It was one of them. Yeah, it was Eye of the World. It's the books are a slow start for Eye of the World. We're using uh, Jade. And I gave up the first time I read through it. And then I came back to it and was like, okay, I can, I can get on board with this now. But yeah, I think that was what it was is because with the TV series, I wanted it to be like it, but I just felt like there was a lot of gratuitous drama that didn't need to be there. Like, I get that they had to age the characters up to make it make more sense. That I get, but yeah. I did actually finally watch The Witcher. Again, gratuitous, gratuitously violent, but I, okay, I am just snapping these like crazy. But the acting was good. Enjoying Wheels of Time, but I haven't read the books. Okay, see, that's probably more helpful. I shouldn't have read the books, like, at all. And it was just a coincidence. Oh, no! <laughs> it was just a coincidence that I happened to finish it right as they announced, like, oh, by the way, there's going to be series. I'm like, wait, what? What? <laughs> Okay, for the eyes and these darker areas, I think I'm gonna need to break out another pencil just because I don't have anything that's dark enough that would work with that. So let's just grab, I think I still have some Pablo's out here. I just need a black that I can do lightly. All right, so ivory black. Let's go ahead and fill in. I'm not pressing real hard because I still want this to be kind of light. I don't want just something that's stark black right next to it. So we're going to use just a little bit of the Pablo Ivory. And honestly, you could use any black. I just grabbed this Pablo one because it's still out on my little pencil holder here. There we go. Thought no one noticed, did you? Maybe, maybe. Oh, thanks, Ambient. <laughs> yes. Now I'm gonna finish the series to see episode six. There you go. Book on YouTube, not Audible. Oh, interesting. I didn't know it was on YouTube. All right, we're gonna use Winterberry. Kind of blend out that black just a little bit. How you doing, Steve? Yeah, you just relaxing? Okay, let's do this little spot here. Let's see, let's do Jade. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Witcher for you. <laughs> Schnapp, I didn't see slash hear a thing. All right, Jade. A friend of mine had played the video game, so I kind of knew what to expect and what to skip, but um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go over that red just a little bit. But in the meantime, I am enjoying NCIS, but you know, he was, he was older. Okay, cause I'm, like I said, I'm on season six or something like right now. Like how old is, is Gibbs supposed to be come season 20? Like. Ducky, for that matter. Of course, I don't know if Ducky's still in, uh, you know, season 20, but I'm just saying. I mean, it's hard as a series goes on. You know that there's going to be characters that are going to, you know, head out. And it's hard to, to like the new characters, depending on how they were brought in. <laughs> right, Ev? Sounds good, Deborah. Thanks for being here. 
Yeah, mine's on. Ducky's like 80, right? Yeah, mine's on Audible too. Which one? Oh, Wheel of Time is what we're talking about. Wheel of Time. So I'm just using Jade right now to kind of add a little bit of extra definition here. Okay. So for the inside of his mouth, we're going to do Angelica, but I think we'll use just a little bit of Pablo over the top. We just need a little bit of darkness for these areas that have been mapped out as dark areas. So we're gonna start by pressing fairly hard because I wanna get as much pigment as I can on this area, but I didn't wanna fill this in with black. Like that's just not what I want. Actually, maybe we won't use black. Let's use chameleon. So is that IA? Yeah, it's chameleon. Let's use a little bit of that over the top. Actually, yeah, I don't think we need to use black on this. I think this will be good enough. Yeah, that works. Let's zoom out a little bit for you guys. Here we go, he's coming along. <laughs> no, nah, it really won't matter. Are you streaming Friday? Did you already say that? Um, that's right. Friday is New Year's, isn't it? Let me look at the calendar. I think I briefly saw that. Hmm. Um... Let me think on that. Let me think on that, because it'll depend on what time we decide to put the kids to bed. It would be, it would be kind of, hmm. I don't know. Let me think on it, because I know that we're doing something with one of my other sisters, but it's all just virtual stuff. Yeah, let me think on that. I will let you all know for sure on Wednesday. Gibbs is 66 in 2021. Yeah, I agree, Evelyn, I agree. Yeah, Friday is New Year's Eve. Because it would be kind of fun to hang out with you all on, on Friday. But I need to double check because I don't want to take away from the kids' holiday. But if they're going to bed early, I just, I don't think Steve and I have discussed that far yet. So, um... Yeah, let me think about it. I'll think about it. Wait, Gibbs is in Criminal Minds? Hi, Shelby, thank you. We're using the pastel tints, so he's nice and light colored. All right, let's use green flower. I think he's gonna need some blue eyes. Let's use the, no, let's use the hydrangea. A little bit right there. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Hi, Shelby. Right, the pastels are so nice. I was comparing it to, this is the one I did in 2015. So way different. That's super bright, super high contrast, and it was Prismacolors. So, <laughs> um, okay, let's do Hydrangea, Larkspur, no, Bluebell. Hydrangea, Bluebell, and Blue Poppy, I think is what we'll do for his eyes. Oh, Thomas Gibson. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. I don't know. Does anybody, like, if I streamed on New Year's Eve night, like, would anybody even be around? I know people, like, probably a lot of people have plans. I would need to talk to Steve for sure, because I don't even think we've decided what we're doing for that evening or what time we're putting the kids to bed or what. They definitely don't stay up until midnight. Like, oh my gosh, they would be so cranky the next day. 
Uh, actually, let's take this one back a little bit. Um, a hydrangea. I mean, I guess, you know, from all over the world, by the time I stream New Year's Eve night, it'll be the new year for Australia already. Depends what time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Bluebell. So yeah, I will need to uh, discuss with Steve and see what our plan is. I always like to watch the ball drop for sure. We always have the TV on for that. Uh, oh, Princess Bride, I love the Princess Bride. Yeah, I'll be here at 7 p.m. if you're here. I'm not going to do the New Year's Eve dance. Too darn cold to go out tonight, right? Hey, nobody staying up till midnight. I will. All right, Blue Poppy. We might do just a tiny bit more outline black for his pupil here, but not much. Mm, no, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab a Prismacolor white and go over this. I know I'm making pastels more pastel, but. Doing a picture like strictly in pastels is a whole new adventure for sure. Um, okay, let's grab Angelica. Staying home, being safe, right? Agreed. Watching until midnight, I love it. Yeah, the kids are a little too young to let them stay up that late. Maybe little Emily next year. But, I mean, they zonk out pretty early as it is. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Shannon. All right, it's not too shabby, I like that. All right, let's put a little highlight on his eye here. Let's see which, yeah, let's use this one. Okay. Is this frog is so different from the first frog that I did. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's use, what time is it anyway? It's 10.03, we're doing good. Let's use Viridi. Thanks, Opinionation. 9 p.m., go to bed in past years. No, that's fair, that's fair. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna use Viridi. We're gonna do his little, his little face. Oh, nope, no one saw that. I don't know what you're talking about. At least we know the sharpener sharpens it nice and tight. Come on. No one saw that. No one saw anything. Nothing at all. It was funny. I was just watching, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going through, you know, I'm going through NCIS again, but there was, <laughs> it was so funny. They were cracking up because they were all talking about Y2K. And I was like, ah, oh, that's funny. I remember that New Year's. I remember being terrified and thinking things were going to happen. I just, um, I had family over at the time and everybody else kind of passed out. And me and my cousin were the only ones that were able to like stay up. And I was just like watching the clock going, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh... Hi, Sarah. Thank you. There was so much hype around Y2K, like, that was intense. Using green flower. Okay. Then let's grab the Angelica. Oh, gotcha, Amia. 
<laughs> What's that snap? No, nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. There was no snap here. We don't snap pencils here. Never, never. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of that Angelica around those areas there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's taking some getting used to for me as well, Ronnie. Like it's 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 an adjustment. Like because I want to add like really dark dark colors, you know, for that contrast. Especially because recently I've been doing like a lot of dark colors, you know. Okay, let's use a teeny tiny bit of black, just a teeny tiny bit. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely using way more pressure than I usually use. I mean, we're, we're all here in the snaps that I'm pretending don't exist because I am definitely, uh, definitely pressing harder. All right, let's use Bayberry. There we go. But I think it's one of those things that he'll look decent when he's completely come together, you know what I mean? And it looks a little bit more washed out on the screen too. Like you guys will be able to see it better once I, once I take a picture of it. Because I mean, in comparison to this, plus you're not seeing the image of the frog, you're seeing, you know, what's on the computer. So this obviously looks 10 times brighter than this, but that's also because this is the picture. But yeah. And for those that are wondering, this is the version that I colored in 2015. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's very much taking some getting used to. It's interesting though, it's an adventure for sure. Okay, how much time do we have? Let's do a little bit of his leg, shall we? So we're gonna use Angelica again, because we also have the inside of his arms to do. Like we've got this here, but that's supposed to be, I think, part of his legs. So we're actually just gonna take the Angelica and just fill that in nice and dark. Like on the original picture, it's just black, but I don't want it to be black. That was the whole point of printing it lighter so that the large black lines didn't overwhelm the pastel. There we go. Yes, absolutely. It's different with the great lines. Yeah, see, so the 2015 version, I like the frog. I would do the water differently and the flowers differently and the sky and probably eh, the dragonflies are okay. But I do like how the frog turned out. I can definitely see how my style has changed over the years though. Draw the snow princess on the other tutorials. Yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, the whole thing just is taking a little bit of adjustment. But I think when the whole picture is this light, like it'll be obvious the pastels that were used, you know? Plus it was just kind of nice to do a little bit of a throwback, you know? A lot of people have Enchanted Forest, so that's gonna make it a lot easier to follow along. The frog I colored way before I started doing any tutorials. I mean, I might have done one or two, but it was very few and far between. So I definitely did not share my method for that frog. <laughs> Still watching Emily's early vids? Ooh, cringe. Like pre-live streams, Crashes? <laughs> my very first one was like a leaf one. And I originally did it silent and then people were wanting like actual audio like instructions and I was so nervous. I was like, uh, I think I was doing it on my dining room table and I had a, I had a yogurt cup as my pencil cup and I had propped my phone up in the yogurt pencil cup and did it that way. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. But uh, yeah, so early ones, it was really dark lighting in the, uh, in the dining room, at a table, propped up on a yogurt cup, you know, super, super classy like. <laughs> hmm. This is amazing, like how far my setup has come since then. 
with the same repeating music. Yeah, that was before I, I knew about Epidemic Sound. Like, and I'm just like, okay, well, I think this one's royalty free. We'll just throw that one up there. <laughs> Some of them actually don't even have music. Like some of my highest, like highest rated, like watch videos don't actually have music because I didn't know much about copyright music when I first started uploading and they would get dings. And so I was just like, okay, well I'll just remove the music altogether. And so they ended up being silent, but it's just so funny. I have learned a lot about how to do these. Uh, okay, let's do Bayberry now. But I mean, it's the same, actually, no, we're gonna do Daylily. It's the same with all of us, any of us. You know, everybody started from somewhere. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Nerdy Crafter, um, but she posted, oh, a few weeks back, like one of her very first like uploads. And like she had this like weird kombucha for her to drink every time, uh, every time she did something cringeworthy, she drank a lot of kombucha. <laughs> I started watching 2015 JB's Inky book and then got so busy working. There you go. Oh, that one didn't even show it. See, that's so weird. Like some of these things like will show up on mobile, but then won't show up like on, there's, there's something about it. There's something about it for sure. Right, Ronnie? I love it. Yeah, production values, I'd like to think, have gone up a little bit. <laughs> I mean, there's still things, like, I can watch back my streams. And there's still things, like, I would, I'm still not happy with my sound because they're still echoey. And I understand enough about sound that I can make it sound decent. But, like, one of these days, I would love to, like, hire an actual, like, sound guy and have him come in and, like, not, I don't even know if somebody does this. Surely there's somebody somewhere that does this. Like, I wouldn't even really know what to search. But, like, if I knew somebody who knew sound so well, they could come into the office, evaluate the space find out where the weak points are and exactly what we need to do. And then if we need to apply certain filters, like I've watched video after video about different filters that you can use, but there's only just like so much that I know how to do to remove. So it would be awesome if like I could get somebody to come in here and be like, oh yeah, you just need to do this, this, and this. And I'd be like, thank you. So it's all, it's, it's still a major learning process for sure. You've had your share tonight, awesome. <laughs> Right, Ronnie? Exactly. Aw, thanks, Ambient. <laughs> see, I do have a rug. I do have a rug. So I don't know if you guys can see. Make sure I'm not. So there's actually a rug back here. It's a whole area rug. There's actually not much floor that's open. And so I've got some sound panels on the walls. I've got them behind me, to the side of me, in front of me, to the left of me. And there's plenty of furniture in the room. It's just... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm upstairs. Right, Ronnie? Exactly. You're distracted by a little person? I bet you she's cute, though. <laughs> Sound engineer. Is that the name? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to leave this for now, and let's add this part here. So let's do it in the same order that we did it before. In the UK, I've known for eons online who are lighting engineers and work freelance. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I need I need a sound engineer. That's what I need. All right, so we're gonna start with Jade. Yeah, because I do have a buddy who actually streams um, on Twitch. And so he's done a lot of sound stuff, but unless you can be in the room like it's really hard to help past that because like every room is different as far as like mic and filters and all of that. You know what I mean? I, like I said, I've learned a lot, but I know there's just something key that I'm missing here. And it is better than the very beginning. It is. So I'm not complaining. I think it's just because I know I have everything I need. It's just, just barely out of my cast. <laughs> yes, Emily, she is adorable, right? I'm sure she is. How is she doing anyway? How was her Christmas? Periwinkle. I'm sure she had a lovely time. Okay, 
And then blue poppy. Okay, and then let's do as a child, I want to be an illustrator. The world's really changed since then. I don't think there were adult coloring books. No, there really wasn't. There really wasn't. Like, Johanna, they call her the queen of coloring because we're going to use Larkspur now because she really did start the movement. Um, there really weren't adult coloring books before she came on the scene. And it's just, it's amazing, like, how many how many people have gravitated towards it and just how much, you know, everyone enjoys it. See, this is so much darker than this is. Like, I feel like that should be the same. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. <laughs> Are you running OBS for stream? Yes, sir, I am. Yep, I'm using OBS and I have some filters that I've put on there and there is a difference when I turn off the filters. There definitely is. Do, do. Okay, let's see, Periwinkle. Like for a while, I didn't understand my gain enough and I had it up too high, but like now my gain is all the way down and it cuts down on a ton of the echo. See, this seems so much darker now. She had a world for Christmas. She got a hoverboard and is riding it all around the house. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure, Crashes. And if you want, I can send you the filters that I'm using already. Okay, so this is just, we either need to lighten this or we need to darken this because this is so much darker than this. So we're gonna grab Larkspur because this is meant to be the same kind of color. So we're gonna press harder and we are going to darken this up a little bit. I don't want them being too different. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then we're gonna grab Jade. Went to college for animation and multimedia arts, had kids and got into tech to pay the bills. Oh, that's awesome. Drew portraits of my friends in high school and college, but coloring pages weren't on my radar. Oh no, they, they wouldn't have been at all. I forgot to tell you my boss got a set of pencils and a coloring book for Christmas from his wife. That's amazing. What, what kind of pencils and books did she get him? That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, cause he watches uh, when you stream, right Ev? Okay, and then let's grab Periwinkle. Hi, Della. Oh my gosh, yes, Ev. Get your boss to stream with you. <gasps> That'd be so much fun. Stream time with Ev's boss. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, see, I know I've got a lot of layers on here because these aren't going on quite as smoothly as I would like. I think what we'll do though is we're gonna take our Angelica and we're gonna continue this down the side just a little bit. There we go. And let's do a little bit on this side as well. Yeah, I don't think these pencils like this paper very much. It's the layering on them. Now, granted, I've done a ton of layers on here, but from the get-go, they're, they're layering a little rough on it. So I don't know that I'd recommend the Nina paper. I'd be curious to see how they do on the actual Johanna paper. Yeah, he's coming along. Looking very froggy. He watches, I have to show him every picture I do. Oh, that's awesome, I love that. Okay, let's grab Tickle Pink. Tiku tiku tiku. There we go. 
Okay, and then Angelica. Yeah, this is gonna look so different than the first one. <laughs> but it'll be a good different. Plus, it's always interesting to compare and see, you know, how far I've come as far as technique. I mean, because back then, I didn't use anything other than Prismacolor, like, the idea of that. That, and I didn't have, you know, too many sets of pencils at the time either. Okay, then let's use the Bayberry. And then we'll use the Daylily. Yeah, I can feel it in my wrist. I'm definitely pressing harder with these. It's just like so much. I want to get these like a darker color, but you know, they have their limitations for sure. All right, so now let's use the Veridi. Nibbles is over there rearranging his house. Little Emily and I changed everything out today. Got him some fresh stuff. Oh, you want to know what Paul and Annie did on Christmas? Okay, so the cats got, uh, hi, Celine. Frown on my art interest. So I wanted the science, food, microbiology to pay bills. Oh, no. Well, I mean, that's good, but that's too bad that they, that they weren't for it. Um, so the cats got stockings. And each stocking had some treats in it. There are these Fancy Feast treats that come in what's almost like, it looks like a chocolate bar, but it's not, you know, it's cat treats and you break them off and there are these little squares. Well, when I had given each of the cats one because they're treats, you know, they're not meant to have a ton. And I had put them all in a bag and I could have swore that, I know, right, Crashes? <laughs> Seriously. There you go, Ronnie. Um, I thought I had put them in the pantry, but I guess I must have like meant to do it, but then I didn't. Anyway, Steve and I had been upstairs. This was after the kids went to bed and then we came downstairs. We each got a snack and everything. I went to set it in the living room and there was the open wrapper. I had left the bag. Now there were a couple things of treats in there, but this was the one that we had opened to give them later. Um, but they had chewed a hole in this quart size freezer bag. They had chewed a hole in that, pulled out the streets, ripped open the cardboard box, shredded the plastic that it was in, pulled out the little cardboard piece and ate the entire thing. Between him and Annie, they looked so guilty. They were, the, the other cat was like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, she's old. And once the cats are doing their shenanigans, she's like, you guys are loud, you know? But I tell you, Paul and Annie looked so guilty. They ate the whole dang thing. Like, it was a lot of treats. Like it was, they were on a mission. The funny thing is, is they love these treats. I don't get them all the time because, you know, Paul's starting to be a bit of a chonker anyway. And we take him to the vet and they're like, uh, we're like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but like, I have put these things in Tupperware before, like sealed clicked Tupperware. <laughs> I must've been talking to Emmy. <laughs> and they will get a hold of this Tupperware and they will gnaw on the container. Like they are bound to determine, unless I have a locked door between them and these treats, they are bound and determined. And I was just like, Paul, and he wouldn't look at me. He wouldn't look at me. It was hilarious. Like I was cracking up inside, but on the other hand, I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't throw up on the bed later, <laughs> you know? Like they ate so many treats. It was ridiculous. Needless to say, they have not had any treats since Christmas. <laughs> it's just like, we gotta let you digest this first. <laughs> exactly, Crashes. Yeah, rolling on the floor laughing, yeah. <laughs> Did Hemi get into the treats too? All right, green flower. But I was just like, you naughty little cats. 
Yeah. Paul was looking all bashful. Annie looked pleased with herself, and 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 the older Kitty could honestly care less. <laughs> she was like, I don't know what they were doing. They were making noise. Hemi will do any and everything he's supposed to, and then he will lay in the middle of the floor, the most arrogant look on his face. That's exactly what it was. They knew, man. They knew. I found the mess, and Paul was just, like, not looking me straight in the eye. Like, he was just straight up ignoring me. It's like, you knew. You knew what you did. I don't know if you guys saw the story or not that I posted, but Annie got a little little squeaky mouse she just she loves that thing so much she played about as hard as uh little steve did because like she's you just heard the, the the toy just like chirping across the floor and then she like took a nap and then it started chirping again it was hilarious all right we're gonna use cow slip here he definitely could care less he was quite pleased with the bitch <laughs> Ooh, coffee all right so cow slip here it's a little bit more of a yellowish tint for his little spots. I'm ignoring the little middle circle. And that's the thing too, is if you're coloring this straight from the book, I reprinted mine so it's a little bit smaller. Yours is gonna be a little bit larger uh, in the actual book because this is eight and a half by 11, the book is 10 by 10. Come on, you little turkeys. Eating the whole thing of treats. <laughs> um, okay, let's use Tickle Pink a little bit. Just on the edge of these. With all these little bumps on them, does that make him a toad? I put frog. But I'm thinking he may be more of a toad. What do we think? Frog or toad? Okay, just trying to get all of these, make sure I don't forget one. Here we go. It's coming along. All right, let's see. But mom, they're so good. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, such character. That's why we love Randall. He's a toad. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna change the title to Toad Page because yeah, I don't, I don't think he's a frog. All right, we're using Angelica. I'm darkening the edges a little bit to give it so it's not quite 2D, give it a little bit of depth. Pop of that red a little bit. I know we're kind of covering the greens that we did, but it's still the difference in the greens still kind of show under the green, if that makes sense. Bumps and who knows around his neck. Gotta be an Omicron frog. <laughs> my algae counter surfed and swiped a whole raw chicken and some cooked turkey burgers. Oh my gosh. She found a way, but stretched out. She's a five foot little person. Oh my gosh. With coffee and my cheesecake I made for my birthday. Nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's 1028, isn't it? Um, let's just do this little inside line here. So let's do... Let's do, let's do Veridi. I mean, I'm gonna be using Angelica on top of this anyway, but. I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna grab. Oh, awesome, Ev, I'm so glad. Okay, green flower. Okay, and then let's get, let's go ahead and just start with Larkspur. A little bit of blue there. Okay, and then let's grab, what is this one? This one is Blue Poppy. Okay. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our Angelica. Hi, Haiti, welcome. Yes, happy birthday, Celine. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Cha cha cha. <laughs> all right, Angelica here, just down the side a little bit, keeping it all consistent. There we go. Let's use a little bit of the tickle pink. There we go. All right. we go. All right, he's coming along. <laughs> You're welcome, Celine. What kind of sharpen you use for the Castle Art color pencils? I've got the 120 count of Castle Art color pencils. Are they any good? Yes, they are. I do love them. Um, just straight out of the bat, I do. This one is my hand sharpener that I prefer. This one here, let's get it in focus here. This is the Stedler Norris Club sharpener, or if you don't have access to that one, uh, the regular two-hold Stedler sharpener will also work. Um, I also recommend the Doll 133, this one here, hand crank sharpener, although I haven't used it recently because uh, this is one of my new favorites. Arteza sent this, and this is a battery-powered uh, two-hold sharpener from Arteza. So, um, Stedler handheld sharpeners, Arteza small electric sharpener, or the Doll 133 hand crank. Hand crank. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Oh yeah, this, I just read yours and answered it. So yes, hello, Mandy, and those are the answers. <laughs> yeah, these are the uh, Castle Art Pastel Tints. Oh, well, hopefully you get a little bit, a little bit of time, a little bit of time. Yeah, let's brighten that just a little bit. Oh no, that's almost too bright. I'll have to take a picture of it so you all can uh, get a better idea of what it looks like. So it's a little washed out here, but I'm pretty pleased with where we're at with it so far. I'm glad we printed it lighter. I'm really glad we printed it lighter. I think it's working well with it. And then we're gonna do like a little bit of a yellowish tint. So we're gonna get into using some of the uh, juniper lime, sunflower, begonia, cowslip, more of that. We'll still use probably some savanna and maybe I might steer clear of the Angelica because we're gonna go for more of a uh, warm toned, um, warm toned lily pad. And then for the flowers, I'm thinking blues and purples and pinks for the flowers, maybe. We'll see. I gotta think about the flowers a little bit more. Tardis the Toad. Oh, I love it, Shannon. He's Tardis the Toad. I love it. <laughs> Wish there were more purples. You know, I find that's the case with most sets though. A lot of sets seem to lack in purples. Why? I have no idea, but they could definitely do with more purples. Every set could do with more purples. Black Widows do pretty good if you have all of them, but all right. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I hope everyone had a super wonderful, awesome Christmas. We're gonna be live again on Wednesday. Um, as far as Friday's in Friday, <laughs> words are hard. As far as Friday is concerned, I need to discuss it with Steve and see what our plans are for New Year's Eve. So I will let you all know on Wednesday, he is dubbed the TARDIS, yep. <laughs> Uh, I will let you all know on Wednesday whether or not we'll be streaming on Friday, so I'll keep you posted there. Um, in the meantime, keep being awesome. Ev, thank you again for your super chat, and uh, I'll see you guys all in a couple days. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.